Today is all about gestures and shortcuts. If you want to learn how to create in a faster and more organic way, you're in the right place. So let's start with probably the most used gesture in our app, one finger hold. Holding down one finger on the canvas will preserve the proportions of any shape that you draw. As I'm creating this rectangle, you can see how the shape snaps into a perfect square automatically. And the same thing happens when I resize it. When rotating our shape, holding down one finger will snap the rotation every 45 degrees. What's more, if you duplicate your shape and you want to align your objects horizontally or vertically, that's right, all you need to do is hold down one finger when performing this action. Next, let's look at what happens when you're sliding your Apple Pencil in different directions. While I'm creating this pentagon, notice that the orientation of the shape changes as I slide my pencil up or down. This, of course, happens for shapes that have a tip, like pentagons, so shapes with an uneven number of sides. Or stars with an uneven number of points, like a five-pointed star. Sliding from right to left or vice versa also comes with its perks. Instead of actually tapping into the quick action slider to change the number of points in your star, you can just tap on the star symbol itself and slide your pencil left or right, and we get the same effect. This shortcut applies to the polygon as well. Simply tap and slide on the polygon icon in the quick actions menu. Moving on, let's check out some cool pen tool gestures. By drawing a couple of nodes, you can notice how the handles behave. They oppose each other and move simultaneously. But if I hold one finger on the canvas, the node becomes disconnected and I can move the handles independently. This is a super easy way to create deep or angular curves like these. If we instead hold down two fingers, the handles snap at increments of 45 degrees, allowing you to create perfectly symmetrical nodes. Let's move on to another node and see what happens when we hold down three fingers. The node becomes disconnected again, but you can now snap one handle every 45 degrees. Now, if you hold down four fingers, no, no, I'm joking, we stop at three, but we still have more to cover. So let's say that I wanna stop my path here. All I need to do is double tap on the last node I just created. And now, when I continue using the pen tool, it starts a brand new path. And if I don't like my new path, then tap with two fingers on the canvas to undo. If I do it again, it goes even further back in time. To redo an action, tap with three fingers. The last super useful gesture to know here is changing your node type. If I double tap on a node with the node tool, the handles disappear, meaning that I now have a single type node which cannot create curves and is usually very angular. If I double tap it again, the handles appear and I now have a standard asymmetrical node. All right, another artboard, another use case. I have these cool shapes here and if I select them, this letter in the lower right corner tells me that I'm dealing with a masked object and with a group. If I want to quickly edit my clipping mask, I can enter isolation mode by double tapping on my object. And now I can move my mask wherever I want or change its shape entirely. Double tap again to exit isolation mode. Now let's focus on navigating our canvas. You've seen me do this before, but pinching the canvas with two fingers zooms in and out, which allows me to navigate through artboards easily. Finally, we have a tool on our hands that we did not address. The Apple Pencil comes with its own shortcuts. For me, if I double tap on the pencil, my tool switches to the last tool used. So from the Shape tool, it went back to the Selection tool. But you can customize it. Let me show you how. Just go to Quick Settings, Preferences, Input, and inside the Apple Pencil double tap options, you can change its functionality. Set it as undo, for example. In practice, it actually looks pretty cool, but just customize it as it fits your own workflow. Make sure you give all these gestures and shortcuts a try. I promise you they are going to become like second nature. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out more Vectornator tutorials to keep learning.